gents, welcome back to Democracy 3, playing of course as the Soviet Union, I'm over the potato, and uh, yeah, things have been better, things have been better. Uh, in the last episode we had this fantastic uh, event modifier, uh, I don't even know if it, uh, yeah this is it here, uh, economically independent, economically independent, and it's because of the nationalized manufacturing, the nationalized uh, transport network, basically gave us a whole bunch of extra GDP. That that hasn't really hasn't really done us any favors uh, at the moment, as you can see. Our income has slowly, slowly but surely decreased, uh, and it is projecting us a uh, a budget uh, a budget deficit actually next turn. So that looks like we're going to be uh, we're going to be in in budget deficit territory once again. But the good news is that over the last couple of turns, we have managed to pay down a significant number uh, of uh, of creditors. We are now we're now very very very, very low on debt, which is really, really nice. Debt to GDP ratio is 7.69%, which is not too shabby if I do say so myself. The total value is something like, yeah, 95 billion. Our GDP continues to fall, which kind of worries me. I am a little bit concerned about that. But that's not a problem because uh, we're going to find another way to make money. We've got to find another way to make money. Otherwise, we're going to go broke. Unfortunately, with the whole uh, massive increase uh, of GDP, obesity has kicked off, and that is not showing any signs of abating. In fact, it's going to take a heck of a long time in order to work that down. Uh, the asthma epidemic is continuing, although thanks to GDP being uh, on the on the downward trend, it looks like uh, it looks like that'll be ending sometime shortly. Water shortage. We've kicked back up the climate change adaptation fund. That is going to hopefully decrease over the next couple of turns, which is really, really nice. Uh, the Ludite, Ludite riots, that should start to decrease. I don't really know how on earth that managed to get so high, but it is what it is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the tax evasion nonsense. We did bump down income tax in anticipation for, well, hopefully, hopefully, uh, so that we could uh, reduce... Re reduce tax, but unfortunately that hasn't really happened. And I think with our with our GDP increase, with a with the increase in, in GDP, it looks like we've started collecting more tax, and therefore we've actually started collecting less tax, which is a little bit of a bummer. That tax evasion thing is something that I don't really think that we're going to be able to get rid of, but whatever. Uh, pollution is going to be ending this turn, which is great. And the technological advantage disappeared uh, this turn as well. If we go here, we can see technological advantage ended up uh, ended up disappearing because we ran out of uh, we ran out of metals. We we're uh, we're suffering from a rare earth crisis at the moment, so we fully funded rare earth metal mining technology, and therefore, hopefully, theoretically, we'll be able to finish the uh, the rare earth crisis. Technology is on the up, pollution's on the up. Capitalists like this, environmentalists don't. But it's going to have a, a pretty important effect. But it's going to take sixteen turns to be uh, sixteen turns to be fully implemented. We do need to actually start considering the next uh, election. It's thirty turns, thirty turns away, which is ten years. No, not ten years. Thirty divided by four, whatever the heck that is. Eight. No, it's more than eight. Nine. Yeah, it's almost nine. So it's like eight years or something before I can't do maths it's too early in the morning uh yeah so we're we're we're, we're not super close to the next uh, to the next election but it is something that we need to keep in mind we've only got five political capitals so let's go to the next turn as I say projected deficit for the next couple of turns that's not too much of a problem uncompetitive economy has developed oh come on really uh pollution has ended and a food crisis has started and that's because the food price is so darned high because of the water shortage, which I was hoping that we'd be able to finish before we got to this position. What does the food crisis actually do? Poverty increase, productivity down. Uh, and now, once again, we're running a relatively small budget deficit. GDP is continuing to fall. All right, so it turns out that nationalizing your economy, nationalize, get, becoming economically independent, nationalizing your manufacturing and nationalizing other stuff may not actually be the best idea. Um, just saying, it's, it's not, not great. Not great at all for us right now. Do we have the ability to nationalize banks yet though? That's the real question. We need 55 political capital in order to do so. <gasps> maximum is 54, the maximum is 54, but that's still one, we're still one away. We're still one away. I think it's in the economy section. Yeah, nationalized banking, 55 political capital. We need one more maximum political capital 
and that will that will sort us right out. Now, did we end up uh, nationalizing essential services? We actually haven't yet, but we will be doing that, or we will try to be doing that. Also, the also the state uh, state tertiary education. I do want to perhaps introduce that, although part of me thinks that that might not completely work. National anthem at the start of the news. I'm looking for a really popular policy, which is actually going to make us money. Ban private health care. I mean, doesn't really matter, to be honest. Human cloning research grants. Hey, that would be a good thing to spend money on. Although I do actually want to start collecting more money. Man, we are losing so much money. We're losing so much money, and it's pretty, it's pretty much because of local government. It is pretty much because of local government. Oh no, wait, hold on, that decreases tax evasion? No, local government increases tax evasion. Okay, I think we actually need to get rid of local government. So, let's just like, wipe out community policing, even though, as I've said before, it's, it's a really, really good policy. Um, but we will be able to save ourselves a little bit of money at the same time. I'm just going to reduce it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cancel it out. It's going to make liberals slightly more unhappy with me, but it is what it is. I think we need to try and get rid of that local government modifier because it's, it's actually killing me and it's costing us, it's costing us literally billions. If you consider that we're only getting 86% of all of our corp corporation tax receipts, 86% of all of our income tax receipts, all of this, all of this is... It's such a large amount of money. It is such a large amount of money. 21% increase uh, to tax evasion. So that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. We need to we need to definitely need definitely need to get that fixed. Uh, rare earth metal mining, water shortage. Water shortage is going to be ending in a couple of turns. I'm not going to do anything to uh, address the food crisis, the food price crisis, because I'm hoping that the water shortage will just fix that straight up. So fingers crossed that will work. Yeah, food crisis is is definitely is definitely a big deal, but it should be ending not this coming turn, but the turn after that. I think we might just manage to get away with uh, get away with it there. The rare earth metal crisis that's peaked, and now once we once we get it below the uh, the bar here, the stop trigger, if you'd like, uh, once we get it below the stop trigger, hopefully the technological advantage will start up again. Uh, in the meantime, though, the Ludite riots, fingers crossed, will start to dissipate because the industrial automation, industrial automation will start to decrease without the technological advantage. Technology as well, I think, will stagnate for a little bit. So, yeah, I think that we've got a good opportunity over the next couple of turns to finish off a couple of uh, a couple of pesky modifiers that have been that we've been dealing with for for quite a long time. Civil rights protests. Holy cow. Maybe alcohol consumption. Maybe we actually try and... Maybe we reduce the alcohol tax, you know? So alcohol consumption will increase. But that would be a good thing. Because that would get rid of civil rights protests. Just like, once and for all. Yeah, maybe we do that actually. I mean, it's not like we've got... It's not like we've got much else to spend our political capital on at the moment. All right, so it's going to be a it's not going to be an it's not going to be a crazy amount of money that we're going to save. But let's just like reduce that to zero. Sure. Reduce that to zero. Our deficit is slightly large. Our debt is going to start to increase. I'm not super thrilled about it. Our expenditure has crossed over our income and that to me is it's a real warning sign that we need to get things back on track, but that is what it is. Not much we can really do about it. Um, if we have a little look at our international trade, our international trade continues to go down. It's, wow, it's really in a bad place at the moment. Our foreign relations are in a pretty bad place also. Can we perhaps introduce a policy that would maybe make people a little bit happy with us? Maybe... Bleh. Refugee camps? Skilled immigration incentives? We need 35 political capital in order to make that happen. Well, I think that we can pause here. 
yeah, we won't go over the cap next turn anyway, so we can go to the next turn quite comfortably. Hopefully, by the way, I'm assuming that we're not going to get assassinated. Hey, has GDP stopped falling? GDP has stopped falling. GDP is actually going to start increasing, which is great. 28 billion budget deficit. Wow. Okay, that's that's a killer. Uh, yeah, we're really popular, but that's because we're running up a deficit. Toxic waste dump. Prevent construction of the toxic waste dump. Sure. Keep the environmentalists on board. Have I got enough maximum... Have I, have I passed the maximum political capital that I need in order to nationalize banking? It's still at 54. If I just hang on to this cabinet just a little bit longer, you're not a big fan of me. Somehow, even though you actually don't hate me. Conservatives and ethnic minorities actually both like me. Two groups that are basically pro-potato here. Citizenship tests. That's, that's not a big negative modifier. All right, let's just not touch that then. That's fine. But yeah, we're very, very close to being able to nationalize banking, which is, I mean, it's important. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very important. Rare Earth Crisis, this is going to take a long time to take effect. I'm not super thrilled about that, to be honest, but it is what it is. Water shortage finally is going to end, and that in turn will fix the food crisis, which is great. Obesity is, is on the decrease. Agriculture subsidies actually feeds into... Feeds into feeds into obesity, which I'm not super thrilled about. Maybe we can introduce a policy which will reduce obesity somehow. Refugee camps, skilled immigration incentives. I think that we could actually... Whoa, minus 1.3 billion. I think we could actually get away with introducing both of these policies. Obviously not at the same time. We don't have enough political capital to do that. But that would be pretty darn good to do. Let me introduce that. Right, so foreign relations will actually decrease. Wow, that's not what I was expecting. That is not what I was expecting at all. These are not any of the modifiers. I'm not interested in any of these modifiers, to be honest. I don't want foreign relations to decrease. My foreign relations are already in a pretty darn poor state. Let's not, let's not try and uh, muck around with that anymore. Import tariffs, we could do, but it's not going to raise us that much money. What I am interested in, in introducing is stuff that maybe, 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 maybe will help obesity. Free school meals. Will free school meals help obesity? Compulsory food labeling. This, I think, will actually make a difference. Just speculation, though. I mean... Alright. It will, but... Even at its max, it'll only help by 5%. All right, well, I'm going to introduce that to the smallest that I can so that I don't hurt uh, GDP. Healthy eating campaign, that seems like a good plan to me. Let's get that introduced. There we go. I mean, it's pretty much free to introduce. It's only going to help by 4%, but every little helps, you know. Social Justice Foundation. Maybe we found a Social Justice Foundation. I mean, we've also got the Race Discrimination Act. We can actually introduce both of these things. Let's let's introduce them both. Sure. Racial tension down. Patriots. Conservatives. I don't want to annoy... I don't want to annoy patriots or conservatives. Because there's one of my ministers who is a supporter of both conservatives and ethnic minorities. Which is somewhat contradictory. But at the same time whatever uh yeah i think that we i think that we do this so this is going to make liberals very very happy with us actually whoa uh-oh 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 uh -oh. where the heck is that policy i've got so many i've got so many policies I've got so many policies that i can't keep track of it it was the uh, the race discrimination policy where was it is it here oh my goodness i've i've got so many policies that i actually have ah there we go I've got so many policies that i oh no I can still apply changes, that's fine. I need to just get it to a place where it doesn't upset patriots and it doesn't upset conservatives. Well, I'm okay with upsetting patriots, but I don't want to... Ex oh no, I don't have enough political capital. Oh no, this is going to upset conservatives. And that's, that's a problem. That's a problem because... That's a problem because I need to keep... The, the one guy that I need to keep on board 
he is he has sympathies towards ethnic minorities and conservatives at the same time. That's a problem. That's a problem. I need to I need to try and fix that. But that's okay. Social Justice Foundation, sure. This is a pointless policy. It increases membership in liberalism when, you know, liberal membership is already as high as it can possibly go. Whatever, it's okay. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we hit the cap now. Water shortage has now ended. That's great. Countryside access law, support the law, sure. That sounds great. Uh, we're still running a pretty large budget deficit, but that's that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. It is the necessary evil of uh, the situation that we're in at the moment. I don't really want to adjust spending. I don't want to cut spending at all. 54 political capital. Come on. We are so, so close. Everyone likes me. Conservatives and farmers. Farmers don't actually like me at the moment. Farmers do not actually like me. Ethnic minorities are starting to, to like me more, which is great. That's really, really good. Uh, but farmers, farmers actually do like me. Oh, of course, because the water shortage ended and therefore uh, they didn't... Uh, that's good. That's actually really good. The fact that the water shortage ended, ended makes uh, makes farmers makes farmers like me more. Okay, the food crisis is going to end in a couple of turns. It's not going to it's not going to take too long for that to end. Uh, the rare earth crisis is just going to take ages to fix itself. Ludite riots that might fix itself. Uh, local government local government still isn't going below the stop trigger. That is a bummer. That is a real, real bummer because education is so darn high. We don't really want to change that, to be honest. I I don't want to change. I do not want to change. I do not want to change that at all. All right. It grows with decentralization, proportional to socialist percentage, community policing, proportional to ethnic minority percentage, and education, proportional to farmer percentage. What sort of a stupid policy is this? So you're telling me with a bunch of socialists, farmers, and ethnic minorities, we're going to have local government? Is that, is that what you're telling me? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, this is, this is a problem because I don't think that we're going to be able to get rid of that local government modifier at all. And we do need to get rid of it, actually. It does give us an advantage to health, education, etc. And the environment, actually. But it's a negative to productivity. It's a negative to high earnings. And it's a decrease to... Well, I suppose it's a decrease to poverty, so that's also a good thing. But it's an increase to tax evasion, which is annoying. Well, what we can do is we can reduce our spending on, uh, on education. That is what we can do. Um, I'm... Not super thrilled about doing it, but we can do it. We can do it. So the indicator that we care about is local government. Where is that? Does it not show up here? It does not show up in the... In the overall scheme of things. Water demand, waste... Yeah, it's this is going to increase unemployment quite substantially, actually. Let's reduce expe like let's reduce expenditure to like 10 billion. You got to bear in mind is that this is definitely only going to be temporary. This is only going to be temporary. We only need to try and do this for a couple of turns. It it will actually save us a significant chunk of change as well. So it'll stop the debt increasing too too much. I think that we'll be able to maintain our AAA credit rating at least for the foreseeable future, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm a little bit worried about our egalitarian society uh, modifier ending economically independent. I don't think that this is going to end anytime soon, given the fact that we're in this, uh, we're in this state. There is a, there is a chance that I will still be able to increase international trade. It's just a little bit annoying at how difficult it's going to be. International relations. Truthfully, we can bump this all the way up to, to max. We can bump this all the way up to max. It will cost us more money, but I think it might just be worth doing. Yeah. 
We're still keeping an eye out for the maximum political cap being raised just that little bit in order to facilitate nationalized banking. Oh, beautiful. All right, beautiful, 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 beautiful. GDP is on the rise. A lot of that is part of the fact, is down to the fact that we got a Nobel Prize. So that's not super ideal, but it is what it is. Education should start to come down. 12 delays to implement. Okay, this is going to take a long time a long time to to get to where it needs to be. A budget surplus. Holy cow. I did not realize that we were actually running a budget surplus this turn. That's um, that's pretty darn crazy. That's a pretty significant increase in GDP and also a pretty darn uh, pretty darn significant cost saving measure. Holy cow, this is it. This is what we're doing. Okay, holy cow, this is fantastic. This is really, really, really good news. Part of me just wants to immediately go to the next turn uh, because I don't want to spend too much political capital this turn, although I know that I'm going to waste a bunch if I don't spend some. Uh, tax evasion. Tax evasion is getting better. Tax evasion is getting better, and it will actually genuinely start to get better. Um, yeah, that's good. I don't want to change income tax any more than, than what we've already done. That's fine. Um, sexism is just not going to end at all. I'm just facing that reality. The food crisis is going to end super, super quickly. And when the food crisis does end, holy cow, we're going to see a knock-on effect to productivity. Productivity has been littered with, uh, with, negative, with negative modifiers here. So I'm a little bit bummed out to see that. But it is what it is. Productivity is going to be is going to be on the increase again. Uncompetitive economy is basically at this rate linked to the rare earth crisis. In two ways, actually, because the rare, earth the rare earth crisis directly affects productivity, which directly affects GDP. So if we can finish the rare earth crisis, then we can finish we can finish the rare earth crisis. Hooray, it's, it's going to be great to do. But the fact of the matter is, is that rare earth metal mining also increases productivity, which is something that we need to consider. Uh, and it also has a knock-on effect from technology, and technology affects productivity. So, therefore... Uh, if we finish the rare earth metal crisis, we can reestablish our technological advantage and we can, you know, continue to be very, very happy, very, very productive people. Uh, obesity. Obesity, I don't think, is going to end anytime soon, but obesity just increases expenditure in the state health service. That's it's fine. It is what it is. It's not exactly ideal. Local government still doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon, and that's because we've got so many positive uh, education modifiers. Man, that's annoying. So local government actually provides a bonus to education, which means that even if you actually get rid of the edu even if you get rid of the education bonus, then it still exists. Maybe I'll lower this even further. Yeah, you know what? I think that we actually do want to try and do that. It's going to cause a little bit of a, a knock-on effect nightmare, but I think it's truthfully something that we need to do. It'll help get us back in the surplus again, back in back in the good books and also it will continue to help us drive down local government which we really want to finish at this rate to be honest but you know there's not really there's not really much that we can do at this point we just need to hope that local government will eventually decrease that's the plan anyway maybe we just cancel the community policing uh, order it's witness protection no community policing is this one yeah, I think that we cancel this policy at this rate, to be honest. I don't know if that'll have any impact. I don't know if that'll have any impact on the local government modifier. But if local government modifier is directly proportional to community policing in some way, if we get rid of community policing, maybe it just means that the event won't be able to, to spawn. So that's the that's the theory. And if we don't if we don't have a government with that uh, that has the policy of community policing community policing in place. Then that's a that's a that's a price that I'm willing to pay. We're, we're going to have to live with that. Anyway, ladies and gents, in the next episode, we are 100% going to be nationalizing, uh, nationalizing banking. Not next turn because, of course, I've spent too much political capital. But the turn after that, we're definitely going to be doing it. So definitely uh, tune in, tune in then to see us uh, nationalize the banks. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obadiah Potato. This has been Democracy Three, playing, of course, as the USSR. I'll see you next time. Bye.